Sea of Stars features a item menu called Relics. These items can be toggled on and off in the menu at will and can make the game easier or even more difficult. In this video, I want to share with you some of the most useful relics I feel like are in the game and how to obtain them. The amulet of storytelling is for players who want to relax during turn-based battles. This will increase your HP by 100% and fully heals your HP after each battle. What would have been cool though is if it would have also refilled your MP as well, but unfortunately it does not do that. This amulet is available at the beginning of the game and is off by default and can be turned on in the relics menu. When enemies are about to cast a spell, a lock will appear over their head, displaying their weaknesses. If you use the correct attacks, you can cancel their attacks altogether. During this stance, the enemies are in a defensive state, giving them a boost in defense. Turning the True Strike Pendant Relic on will remove that 20% damage resistance while they're in that lock state. This relic can be bought from several merchants scattered throughout the game. If you didn't know already, the combat in Sea of Stars is time-based, and if you press the action button just before enemy attacks, you will block and reduce the amount of incoming damage received. However, if you have the Sixth Sense Relic on, there is a 35% chance to automatically block any incoming damage, but you can also still do this manually as well if you would like. This relic can also be bought from several merchants scattered throughout the game. Every character's stats are different, and they can pretty much be built however you want them to be built. Having this relic on will just help you gain that little bit of extra XP as you naturally play through the game. This relic can be bought from the port town of Brisk and a secret shop under the docks. The Sequent Flare Relic I think is the most important and useful relic in the game because it helps you learn how and when to time perfect attacks and blocks by setting a flare up every time you are successful. This relic is unlocked by default along with the Amulet of Storytelling and must be turned on if you want to use it. These are just a few relics in the game that I've played around with and I've used the most. Let me know down below what relics are your favorite or if you've even used them at all. Be sure to like subscribe for more Sea of Stars content so you can stay up to date on any of my guides. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.